What's up, bro? What's going on, GB? Not much, man. So, uh, we've been dealing with each other for a minute. Yes, right? This is your second suit. Uh, second bike. As far as me knowing you. So, uh, who are you? Me, I'm Mr. CBR, even though I ride a S1000 now these days. But, um, I ride with R.A.R. I've been riding for 20 plus years. Been down here in the bike life community for about three years. You know, about two, almost two and a half years. So that's a little bit about me. You might know me to ride with Buck Baby or my brother Hassan or my brother who passed Raven. And I'm just out here trying to have a little bit of spice in the situation. Okay. So, uh, how did you hear about us? I heard about you from my president. I seen that he had a suit from you for a trillion. I got you. So, uh, Buck Eddie, you president? Yeah, like I was telling uh, my boy Farrell, uh, back in the day, I was riding a Honda myself. So, uh, it was 2012, I met him. And uh, from that point on, man, we stayed linked, you know? So he kind of like showed me the ropes, you know, where they hang out, where the bikers be, you know, different stuff like that, you know? So, uh, that's why you see him, you know, repping my brand like that, you know? What did you hear about us? Like, you know, the reputation of whatever. As far as I know, on the scene, if you was looking to get anything, whether it be something for the street or something for the motorcycle apparel, your name has always come up. And when I got introduced to the suit, it just seemed like GK Sports just started jumping out at me. Then I started seeing a little bit of your work here and there. Yeah. Then when I actually start to ride, before I actually seen somebody in your one piece, I seen Two pieces. I'm mean, like, we do the two piece like that custom. But we imagine we could do it. Yeah. So that right there sold me on how versatile GK was, let alone from what I seen that made me jump out to actually want to work with you. And you know, that's that that's what separated us from the majors. You know, uh, something like this you won't be able to get out of the store. You know, uh, you you're a really fly guy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when you came at me with the first suit, the CBR suit. Uh, you wanted this, that, this, you know, which is fine with me, but you understood what you wanted. So they tell me a little bit about your style. You feel me? Uh, what did you think about the, uh, the process, the ordering process? Uh, me, I'm a patient guy, and as you said, as much as me being fly is because I want something that's my own. I want to be able to step out and it be something signature to myself no matter what it may be. Yeah. Being that your brand was so versatile as far as that going, I knew it was going to be a process. But even in the process of customization, I still feel like the turnover was in a good time because what you want, you pay for. Yeah. I mean, you always correspond and you always keep in contact and you always make sure every step of the way you reach out and make sure it's exactly what the person wants and then once it's okay, I feel like the game like that. I got you. Okay, so uh, what you th thought about the product before before you crashed? Um, like once you received the product, what you thought about it? When I received it, I, I couldn't believe it. Even when I look at other people who try to engineer suits in the same comparison, it stands out as far as okay, he in a BMW suit, but it ain't custom like this. Yeah, I don't feel like yeah, this. Yeah. It don't move like this. I it don't you. even jump out at you like this. Like, I got you. Just to see the overall product, like I'm beyond happy. I got you. Okay, how about after the crash? What'd you think about it? You know, after you crashed, you know, you bought it in the suit. With a GK suit, I feel like if I didn't have this. So, uh, moving forward, what would you like to see from GK Sport or uh, in the bicycle community as a whole? I feel like, especially you being around since 2012 and you have been uh, a consumer or a clientele like Sir John who has used your product on a more 
feeling threshold as far as what the suits is actually made for. We use these for safety in the streets, I yeah. really for people who are on the track for the most sake. But I say that to say, even though you orientated for a lot of different spectrums, a lot of street savvy guys wanna dibble and dabble in the track, some might wanna jump over to the track. Me personally, you know me from first suit to, to, to the second suit. If you would have told me about the airbag situation, yeah. I would have bought one and I would have had it installed, especially in the second one. I yeah. think if I would have had the airbag in this one and would have known about it, I wouldn't even have this 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 injury that I have now. Yeah. That could have been more life altering, but it still did its job. Now that we was in talking, we gonna get this right. Yeah. We're gonna put an airbag inside here just in case anything else happens. I got you. Other than that, I just feel like that information was given to me to say yes or no. Yeah, yeah. I think I would have jumped on it, especially the second time around, knowing where I was at, knowing how I improved, and knowing what kind of power I had underneath me, and it just had more safety. You know? Yeah. Uh, safety is the main thing. Uh, correction. Uh, I started in 2006. I met Brooklyn 12. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, but the main reason I started this is because of the safety. You know, the major brands, they don't add as much reflective as I, I do. I give you the option to add the reflective or not. That's on you. It's customized to you. But the actual brand itself was created behind the reflective material. I add more than Alpine Stars, more than Danese. You know what I'm saying? More than the major brands. Not to knock their brand, but that's just what I saw that needed to be in this area. Follow them? So, uh, that's a good thing. Uh, I'm glad you're here, man. Uh, I apologize for not uh, putting that out there like that, but most people just think I'm just putting my name on something and, you know, sending it out there. We got everything they have. Everything. I, I actually Even the stingray. We got kangaroo. We got buffalo. You know, buffalo is a little bit uh, lower quality than, than cowhide. But whatever you can think of, we can create it for you. You know what I'm saying? And that's part of uh, why I exist. As far as bringing it to the community. From here, giving it to the, the, the community. The street level people. You know what I'm saying? That's why my prices are as such. You follow me? Uh, but yeah, man. Uh, soon as you recover, I know you're going to be right back out there. <laughs> Look at it. You ready to die. <laughs> you got to do it. Hey, all I see is some outside. <laughs> I know what that means. I know what that means when you say I'm outside. But yeah, man. Uh, the next one, you know, if, if, you know, planning on the next one so you know I'm gonna try to lay it out for you. everything possible you know uh, the thing Ray is pretty much uh, I don't know if you saw that guy Un underway uh what's his name underway so, so, I, I forget his name but he, he showed a picture where his hand was all scraped up his body was all scraped up that's because he didn't have protection on right but what I'm saying is, as far as uh, his hands, this thing right when you slide, yeah. you're not going to mess up your hands. So if you have gloves, you're not going to mess up your hands anyway. But the thing right is, 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 you know, yeah, that type of that slide. You know, it's, it's a little bit better than just having the leather. You feel me? It's, it's tougher. So, but uh, before we do the finalize the last, the next suit, I'm going to lay it out for you. You know what I'm saying? Give you all the options available. And uh, yeah, it's mainly uh, Sir John, he was asking me about uh, if this available, if that's available. So he came to me with it. But yeah, it's whatever you need. Like, you just tell me what type of airbag you want to get, and I'll adjust the suit according to that airbag. Follow me? Yeah, I think there's two different types. Uh, two or three different types so you know once you get it just let me know and we'll customize it accordingly all right appreciate your business man uh i'm gonna i'm gonna scan the bike i'm gonna scan the suit how the suit held up though yeah i don't see no rips in it okay
appreciate you. CBR 1000, 2005, and when I started to ride on the street, this club called Pearl Bistro was popping. That's where all the bikers go, Pearl Bistro. So I went to Pearl, and as I was going, I saw him and his girl riding their bikes. So I stopped to the gas station, and he just told me to follow him. You know, when I, uh, you know, follow me, I'll show you where the bikers hang out. Right. So from that point on, we just, you know, kept in touch, you know, kept kept cool. So he didn't really understand what I was trying to do at the time. But uh, when I did come out with the gear, he was the first one I went to. And, you know, he was like, you know, this is good quality, you know what I'm saying? So uh, just a little backstory on Buck Eddie. So these guys, Pharaoh, Mr. CBR, I call him Blanco. Uh, that's the click gear rival, the motorcycle club gear rival. So, just a little backstory on Buck Eddie. So, Buck Eddie kind of like represented me from day one, you know, the brand GK Sport. Okay, so uh, how did you hear about us? I heard about you from our president, Buck Eddie. Okay, so Buck Eddie was the one that told you about us. Yeah. Okay? came out one day he said you get y'all come and pull out to the my house we went back there and he comes out with the suit the Prilia suit one piece man everybody well his, his jaw dropped what where'd you get that he said well oh, i know the connections and blah blah, blah and i'll hook you guys up with him he introduced us to you and man i'm so 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 thankful for you i appreciate it man uh but yeah that's what we try to do man uh, keep y'all riders safe. Uh, keep y'all skin and bones intact, man. You know, because it's rough out there on these tools. Okay, so uh, what did you hear about us? I heard that you customized the suit. However, um, the personal person want, you know, the way he wanted, and your ability to make it safe, you know, and, and in the right way. You and him. I got you. And so we decided, uh, me and uh, CBR, um, as soon as we gonna get our suits, we looked around, we saw too many brands and everything, we weren't interested in it until <clears throat> you came out with the BM1, and that like just grabbed our eyes right away. And, and well, as soon as we saw the post, we texted you and called you. and. <laughs> It goes on from there. Yes, sir. Yeah, like I said, man, uh, CBR, aka Blanco, uh, he knows what he wants. Uh, he a true rider. Of course, I'm sure you is too. Uh, but <clears throat> as far as the designing, he knows what he wants. He knows how he wants it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So uh, we're not we're not dealing with no average rider. Just just want to grab a suit from the store and put it on and think, you know, hey. Uh, I'm gonna be good. Uh, some of the suits, I'm not gonna knock anybody brand or say any names, but being in the business for this long, I can see where a lot of people don't understand what they're purchasing. So I'm gonna just leave it as that. Okay, so what was the deciding factor for choosing us? It's the quality, and I, uh, Buck 80 say the quality of the suits, and they're so comfortable and, and, and really works. Then CBR, he bought one from you before we purchased the BMW too, and he 
the same, the same thing. Everything is yep. good. The leather is good. It fits well. <coughs> um, all proper zippers, all, all whatever you need to put on the on on the suit, he'll do it. And I mean, that's 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 the, that was the right choice. I mean, yep. to be honest with you, I mean, I think that's why I'm still here. In this because earth. of the suit. Yes, sir. So, what you think about uh, the process, you know, uh, from designing it to, to actually getting it in your hands? Uh, was it, you know, exactly what you wanted? Uh, was it misrepresented? Now, tell me about that. It's actually more than what I want. I mean, when CBR walked into the house and he had it in his hand, man, and, you know, my jaw dropped to the ground. Um, <laughs> Pictures always not the same as reality, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, vice versa. Uh, you know, sometimes it's the same, or sometimes it's not. But yeah. when I really looked at it, and you know, it, I just like I, I thought it's not gonna be that good. Yeah. Oh, uh, but <laughs> when I saw it, I said, man, that boy put some hard work on the, the yeah. thing. And look at it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, well, you answered the number six question. What you think about the product before the crash? You just explain that. So, uh, what you think about the product after you crash? And you can elaborate on the crash if you want to. Well, I mean, in the crash, I did not remember much of it. But the only thing I remember when I woke up in the hospital, the doctor came in to me and he said, "You are one smart individual." And I, yeah, I said, "I just got hurt." What are you talking about? And he said, "You purchased the right gear." not have that gear you won't be here my friend that's exactly wow. his words wow so how, how, how recent was your accident it's about two weeks ago two weeks ago right now, yeah okay i still have uh, pins in my legs uh, it's broken uh, two toes uh three spots of the leg one two and the ankle and, we to the and this is the boot you had on right exactly yes sir. that was it this is new. This is after the accident. Wow. Oh, the head came up from here. Actually, from here, from the front. Yeah. All the way to the other side. Wow. And beside the scrubbing to the wall, when the car kept, you know, driving me to the wall, all the scratches in here, see all that. Yeah, that that was in the wall, like you know, all the marks. I think the paint is already on the wall. I got you. And the concrete. So, any rips in this suit? Nope. You can take it around on all scrubbed up and stuff, but so the left side is the worst side, right? Yep. That's the only. That's where the damage happened. Most. But when I fell, I fell in my right shoulder because she twisted me. Oh yeah, you said you twisted. Yeah, and I fell, I fell right on my right shoulder, and this is where I kept sliding. All right. So. And this is it. Well. I know, man. It's worth every damn penny, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Man. I'm so thankful. I'm. I don't know what to say. See, to be honest with you. Hey, man. Uh, hey, look at the helmet. That's a, that's yeah. in the wall. My face was on the wall. Wow. So gear does help. Oh yes. Gear does help save your life, man. Uh, if I can say anything about, you know, riding on the streets of Atlanta. But not all gear, my friend. Not all gears. Yeah, that's 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 the thing too. <laughs> you Most know. of these big brands, they have their products are because of the name and everything they're expensive. But when you really put them to the test, I don't think they would hold as much. No. N not all of them. Not all the brands. But you know, some of the brands. I don't want to mention names yeah, or yeah. anything. Yeah, um, we, 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 because we I know try everybody's it. trying to upgrade and, and do the best that they can. Yeah. Uh, but this. This is what saved my life. Well, I appreciate that, man. Uh, but yes, we do try to give you the best quality uh, for your money. We, it's, we really not in it for the money. It's mainly, you know, we see seeing the need for uh, 
riders to personalize their gear. Most riders want to be, uh, want to show their style, per se. You know, and not just style, but you know, they want to have the quality to protect their limbs. You know, their bones, their, their skin, or whatever. So we try to give them the best quality ever. You know. Um, so moving forward, what, what would you like to uh, see at GK Sport? I like to see that you get it more popular for the hard work and the effort that you put in your work, my man. Uh, to no, be I honest with you, it. you should be in one of Top's brands. I mean, if I didn't have all these protections that you added to, to the suit, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. Yeah. Well, like I said before, man, off camera, I'm glad you're still here. Uh, you can heal up, uh, get your bike back right, and ride again. Uh, as you said, the doctor said he wouldn't be here if you didn't have to see it. That's the that's truth. Damn true. So, like I said, man, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely I'm going for another one. Soon. Yeah, so. I mean, you know, that's that's mainly why I came to do the interview, not just to show the quality of the suit, but to show people, you know, you got to protect yourself, you know, even if it's not my brand, if it's a brand you trust, protect yourself out there on the streets riding, because uh, these cell phones it can be a major distraction, you know, I don't know if that was the case in his accident. Well, that was her claim that she did not see me. Crossing, oh. crossing three lanes and she said she did not see me. Wow. And I'm in the HLV lane. What are you doing in the HLV lane? You're yeah. not supposed to be there. You're only one person in the car. Yeah. The HLV lane for two people or more. Yeah. So what is it? And, and, and the, the, the attitude of her, she comes out and she said, no, I hit her. How did I hit you and I'm in the HLV lane? That's, that's the last lane oh, to be in. That's the, the furthest left lane to be in. Just, it's just ridiculous. I mean, all the, all the cars behind me, the one they came and I tried to help and everything, and they were shouting at her and telling her, are you out of your mind? I mean, we were here. It's a dead stop traffic, and, and you were just going between the lanes like you, that is no tomorrow. Yeah. And you just took them to the wall and everything, and you're saying that he hit you. Wow. That's crazy. <clears throat> well, uh, I appreciate the interview, man. Uh, you. We just try to keep our quality up. Uh, try to keep developing new new things to uh, add to the safety of these products. And uh, I look forward to working with you again, man. You and my guy uh, Blanco, Mr. CBR, aka, and uh, the main guy Buck Eddie. Uh, I still haven't got his interview yet, but you know he could be around. So uh, when I met him, he was a veteran rider. So you know he just adds to. Uh, the, the level of respect out there for me, you know, as far as carrying my name, because he knows quality. True. You know, so. It's a fact. Yeah. That's but yeah, fact. we gonna scan this right. suit and uh, let y'all see what it is. Right on.